We are here again with Florida Governor Rick Scott. Glad to be here. Now Rick I am really hoping we can get something constructive this time. John I always truly dig our chats together. Yes, unfortunately you always seem to skitter away without ever answering anything. Not this time. Now I am upgrading my image. Ricky 2.0, baby. Yes. A Quinnipiac University poll had you at a whopping 29% approval rating. And the amazing thing is, I never even went to Quinnipiac University. I mean 29%. Think if I had actually gone there, John. Jesus. Hey don't take the Lord's name in vain. Yes, well, let's get down to cases, shall we? Sure. There has been recent concern regarding two major issues. One being your drug testing policy. Look we just want to make sure those on welfare get the help they need so they stop being drug addicts, robbing pharmacies and so on using public assistance while they're at it. And the other being, the missing emails from your transitional government. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? You must be on drugs. Yes, well, taking the drugs first. I bet you do. Test results came back. And did she give you the clap? Test results on the welfare recipients you said would be using state funds to buy drugs. We understand test results showed that only 2% of welfare recipients tested actually had drugs in their systems. That represents a savings of perhaps $40,000 per year in a program which is going to cost $178 million to administrate. As I said I am a fan of savings and keeping welfare mamas off of drugs. The taxpayers of Florida want to stop subsidizing the drug habits of fat, lazy, welfare queens who sit around all day watching springing injecting drugs into their systems, which is what most of them are doing, in case you didn't know. I mean, come on John, studies proved it. What studies, Governor? You know, the one I talked about on CNN with TJ. Holmes. He agreed with me. No no, we have the tape right here. He didn't agree at all he said what studies governor, just like I'm saying now. You can't self-reference a made-up study. Look John everyone knows fat lazy welfare queens do nothing but watch Springer, get their weaves done and do drugs. That's just a fact. Sean Hannity even said so. I mean, it's out there. What's wrong with you? Governor referencing the brain droppings of a wanton shithead really isn't a point scored from your side. Whoa buddy slow down. Too much too fast. All those big words. Let's get back to the point. You said this would save, the operative word being save, taxpayers money and yet it seems a foolish waste of millions of taxpayer funds. Additionally much of that money is surely going to go to your former company Solantic. Which leads me to one wonder, do you have some sort of payoff arranged on the back end? The way Dick Cheney did with Holy Burton. Hey don't take the name of the Lord my God in vain. Come on. I'm not going to get an answer, am I? At least nothing that resembles one. It looks like I'm in for another session of Ricky Logic. Look the taxpayers of Florida don't want to subsidize drug addiction of fat lazy welfare queens squirting out one pop after another while jamming crank up their noses all day on Springer. You know, insert that conversation. Is this how they talk at the Klan rallies? I wish people knew that the American Heritage Foundation really isn't the clan. You could have fooled me. Come on, why do you keep spewing that liberal clap trap? Why don't we have a real conversation? From what I understand the only way to get a real conversation with you is attend a Koch brothers gathering behind the walls of some fascist enclave in the mountains somewhere. Well, that may be true, but it certainly wouldn't be on the record. They do a sweep for bugs and recording devices. If you get caught, all I can say is, make sure your insurance is paid up. Let's move on to the issue of the missing emails. Hey I had put the FDLE on that. The way it went was, the left hand didn't tell the right hand what it was doing. Sounds so damned familiar. Doesn't it? Here's my right hand, here's my left. Since I am in charge I know damned well what both of them are doing. As CEO you take full responsibility. I take full responsibility for the fact I obviously hired the wrong contractor to manage my transition team's emails and therefore public records were deleted. Speaking of which, your daughter works for that company. 
What shall we call this scandal? Shall we call it Daughtergate? That's a private matter. I'm not going to comment. It sounds like you're going to use your own daughter as a human shield. That's funny as hell. That makes you a terrorist. Even worse you'd use your own kid. Hey easy, their body. Daughtergate. Daughtergate. If you don't stop saying that I am going to come over there and beat the shit out of you. What you gonna do? Jog me to death, sunshine. Maybe cut my funding. Why don't you go kill a program if it makes you feel better? Go take some money from some school kids. Don't think I won't. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. Shut the hell up. Door to gate. Door to gate. Nixon had Watergate. Ricky's got door to gate. I can have you followed. Human shield user. How about a computer virus? Does your company like those? Bring it on Mr. Dortgate. I'm never coming back here. Until next time. Maybe.